What's up, good? Wait, what? What is going on? Anyways, um, what's up, guys? Black and red. Um, according to what's going on right now, I heard that some people don't know how to play Age of History 2. So, with honor of Age of History 3 coming out, I'm going to teach y'all. And also, we are so close to 1,200 subscribers. Sub to the to become one of the one of the first legends. Anyways, so let's see. Sandbox mode. And we're playing in Germany, right? So we get infinite money. So this is basically a play just recruit troops. And I'm on sandbox mode just so like uh, I don't have like a crisis or whatever. So this is supposed to be like quick recording and stuff. Anyways, so early on these strong nations get are really weak because they don't have it because AI doesn't have enough time to you know like build up an army or anything. So this is probably the best time to strike on the AI. Anyway, so we are going to be attacking France. So basically, just click on your province and with that has troops troops because it does if it doesn't have troops then you can't launch an attack anyway so basically what I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna try to make France go under which will probably happen soon not in real life <laughs> you know what I mean in the game. so I'm right now just bulldozing through the um the, I'm bulldozing through the country and it's gonna get hard once you get to like colonies cause because the game's pretty unrealistic it doesn't count real life colonies like French Guiana is its own country for some reason which I added in French Polynesia but there's one mistake I forgot invading is impossible and when I say impossible, I mean impossible. And that is why, and that is why, like, it's probably better for, like, to adapt to the game settings because then, like, it's so much easier. But anyways, so this tutorial, so anyways, this tutorial is just for, like, you know, beginners and stuff. And if you aspire to be good at age of history like me, because I'm literally pro. Anyways, if you aspire to be pro like me, you need to get good at this game. And when I mean good, I mean like actually like grind this game. If you're wondering how long it took me to, how many hours I have on this game, you might seem like a lot, but 300 hours. <laughs> On this game. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. I have friends. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I don't know why I say this stuff. Anyways. So. Basically. Recap. Just. Have fun and when you play this game. I also know that there's a two player option, which I do not know how that would work. Like, you only play from one computer. Also, by the way, if you like geography like me and you hate like Hoi 4 and stuff, and you like think it's too complicated or something, this game is actually really easy to master. Like,. The reason that I got troops fast, if you're wondering, and it's not working for you, I kind of cheated. I want to say kind of cheated, I mean, I put the population growth of, like, every city in Europe to, like, 100%. And that's only because, and let me just say, it's only because, it's only because that literally you, can, you can't even gain a thousand troops from your capital usually which is crazy since that's literally a bare minimum 
for like uh not one thousand ten thousand you know what i mean anyway so we are going to be carving up france But usually, since you don't have like all the territories of France, because I forgot about French Polynesia, wow. So, because of French Polynesia, I have to like, you know, uh, I don't really have that much. So, this these are the only provinces I got, which is not the entire country. It, I'm telling you, if you got the entire country under your control and it had like the white flag thing next to that, it would have like, you would have had to like, you know, it, it's weird, I know. I don't know, so yeah. Assimilate, and when I say assimilate, I mean like waste your last dollars in your treasury to assimilate. Cause rebellions are gonna be your worst nightmare. And when I say worst nightmare, I mean like, you, once you get to my level of like expertise and you assimilate, you're gonna have like Russia and control. I don't care. I'm on friends. I got Russia under my control. Is what you're saying once you and go like to my level. Rebels start popping up like crazy once you get to like the hundreds of times and like two hundred and four hundred. That's all I'm saying, that's my advice. But I'm just gonna invade a few more countries so that I can like tell y'all how good this strategy is. So as you can see, I have about, like, too many. <laughs> Anyways, so basically, this is how you play the game. It's a very good game, one of the best Steam games, I would say. Even if you don't like geography, let me just say this. Even if you don't like geography, you have a lot of fun playing this game. Because it's not about, like, a trivia. It's more of, like, a sandbox, do whatever you want type of game. Like, it's not like a Minecraft type of game. You know what I mean. It's more of like a... I cannot speak today. I do not... I do not know why. But there's one last thing I have to say before I just go off into... <laughs> to just fighting Denmark. He... And you can just exit the video after this last tip. Keep grinding, even if you're already like the best player in the game. Even if you're number one and you win championships in this game, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep working hard. And I'm gonna mute, you can just skip this part of the video. Why I cannot press that button. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's pretty awkward. Which is peace out. And here we go. So it's basically a rough uh, tutorial. And bye.